pleased again to be uh, here at the Sheep River Library. Uh, this time we're looking to uh, have a chat with Hazel Martin, who's running for council. So welcome and thanks for taking the time to come and see us. Thank you, Wayne. Okay, I'd like to just start by uh, allowing you to give a little bit of history of yourself in the community. So. I was actually born at the Turner Valley Municipal Hospital. My parents at the time were living out at Prittness, so Turner Valley was the closest hospital. And I was raised in Black Diamond. I attended Oilfield High School, and uh, after I completed high school, I went and worked in the oil and gas industry. And this is where I met my husband, and my husband Gene, and, this, and Turner Valley became our home. This is where we raised our three children. Three children. And yes. <clears throat> you still have children and grandchildren in Turner Valley? We do. Two of our sons live here, and our daughter lives in Dubai. Oh, okay. So you've got some uh, fairly deep roots here for yes. quite a while. My husband's family has actually been here for 90 years. Hmm. His mother came in about 1931, and we've been here ever since. So we're probably working on our third generation. Right, so you've seen a lot of changes, yes. a lot yeah. of growth. And, uh... and all for the good, yeah. you know? My husband tells a story, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can bring it up later on, is about we're moving to um, curbside recycle. Mm -hmm. He tells the story of him being raised. He was raised up on the town site. And uh, there they had, the way the garbage was done, was Elmer Anderson. He was the public works officer at the time. And behind him was a wagon that he would pull on Little Sam Tuesdays. And that's how they picked up garbage. So fast forward to today, and here we're going with curbside. Yeah. You know, what a great improvement. Yes. Some things take a while, yeah. it would appear, to grow. So, Hazel, what, what do you want to tell us a little bit about your interest in, in becoming a counselor? Why are you interested in doing that at this time? Great question. Uh, I began, I was fortunate enough to work for the town of Turner Valley for the past 25 years. And this gave me a real opportunity to learn about municipal government. I began my career um, reading water meters, walking around reading water meters. Then I moved into community events. So I organized the Discovery Day event to New Year's Eve. And then the, these past two years, I uh, worked on admin support. So I was able to help all the departments doing various tasks. And um, so, so now I've recently retired. So I'm looking at giving back to the community in which I love. And I do have the knowledge from being involved with the town to know the town operations, to be able to provide that insight to what residents are looking for. Okay. <clears throat> so that would give you uh, quite a good idea of the inner workings of administration, which is something that the other candidates would have to learn. But uh, what, what uh, particular advantages do you think that would give you now? Is it knowing the people? Is it knowing the processes? Is it... I think it's a little bit of both, but being on council is totally different than being on administration. Mm -hmm. So I'm totally expecting to, um, you know, face some challenges that I never thought of by being on council and going through a big learning curve too. Yeah. So there is some training that's available to, for uh, for municipal government uh, yeah. elected officials, so that, that will certainly that will be a real opportunity to take that in. Yeah. Right. So <clears throat> uh, we'd like to hear uh, about uh, your ideas on on services uh, that are being provided right now. Do, do you see any particular opportunities for service review, service improvements, things like that? I do, especially on tonight's um, council agenda, they do have an item uh, where council is um, um, going to be asked to implement the curbside recycling and organic waste program and by working with the towns of Okotoks and Turner Valley. And this, by doing so, this will give us an opportunity to have our recycle center become an eco center of where you can have your electronics, paint cans, oil containers all dropped off as a collection point. Mm -hmm. I also see um, an, um, a 
and also I also see that um, within the problem because this is going to be a 15 month term mm -hmm. of where council is going to be looking at the efficiencies and redundancies within the new amalgamated Diamond Valley um, uh, Corporation right and um, one thing that um, is on their strategic planning is to move ahead with the asset management strategy so that we are not you know that we can ensure that there is adequate funds in place for our infrastructure so they're not we're not hit with that big uh bang like what we did on the sunset boulevard yeah um an item that i have done a little bit of research on is the town of uh, or the city of airdrie does is they do a 28 day utility billing mm -hmm. program. So that allows for, um, it's more affordable for the residents. And so instead of getting six bills in, in a year, they now get 13. And they can also detect leaks a lot sooner too. Right, <clears throat> and, and now that uh, people can get their bills online and don't have to wait for the mail, it's, it's yes, it, more convenient. Yeah, to... because they can. You, can. you can sign up to get your utility bill by email, but we do not have the server yet in place for the taxation notices and the assessment notices. Right. But I think as an amalgamated community, that will be something that will come about and it will be an efficiency of where it's just like any um, any of your bills. You'll be able to log on, find it, and do your payment. Mm -hmm. So in your <clears throat> in your job with the long long term employment to with Turner Valley, you've uh, you've seen changes in administrative structures, a lot of changes in leadership and things like that. So are you looking forward to seeing that work at a bigger scale with Diamond Oh, Valley? yes, yes, very much so. Um, I think both councils have worked really hard to get to this point. Yeah. And I think um, this council has had a really good working relationship with administration. And I see that carrying on. Right. <clears throat> Would you see any any uh, opportunities for uh, streamlining things? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Um, when you talk about amalgamation, um, staffing is going to, I know is going to be at the top of everybody's list. I feel that there's always going to be jobs. Some members will move from one role to a new role. There will be retirement. Mm -hmm. um, some will also look for new opportunities. Right. And I mean, we have a very, from what, you know, I can, from what I've seen, we have a very talented pool of individuals that work and they're very committed and they're very dedicated and I do also understand that they are looking at having an HR specialist come in to give a broad scope of what the organization will look like. Okay, <clears throat> that will be something to, to look forward to for sure. Um, what about uh, the general state of uh, services such as uh, parks and recreation, particularly recreation for youth, it seems to come up at, at time, uh, pathways, do you see uh, uh, opportunities in those areas as well? What I do see for um, for pathways is that all we need is a connector to be able to connect some of these neighborhoods. Another thing too is residents are always asking for river valley access, and that may come about with the with the park that we have across across the bridge. Yeah. You know, we'll allow for that. Yeah. Um, Youth, you know, we're, we're so limited right now, but by the two communities working together, we'll have the skate park going, so that'll be another uh, facility. Yeah. Um, and also with an amalgamated um, um, uh, municipality, I can see us also having potentially a recreation director, which may help bring in some of the youth programming. Right. Right, that, that's, that would meet a need that's often expressed yes. in, in our community. With the, uh, what, just maybe another comment on, uh, on services uh, relating to roads, water supply. You have mentioned recycling as well as an opportunity. Do you see 
things in, in the water supply. Right now, you talked about an asset management program. Our water assets seem to be split among several different entities, right? There's the uh, truck, the uh, water supply, there's the West End for sewage, and then the infrastructure itself is, is yet another party there. Is that, uh, that's changed over time as well. Is there any opportunities in there for improvement that you see? Yeah, well, especially with Shrek, um, they have just made an application to Alberta Environments and Parks to reduce uh, the number of water test rooms. That could be a reduction of 30,000. Their budget for this year is about 125,000 that they're spending on water testing and monitoring. Right. So even reducing it by that one third can help with a nice initiative. Right. <clears throat> so that kind of leads nicely into uh, next area I'd like to, to see you focus on, which is uh, the balance between the levels of service you provide and the costs of providing those services. What are your thoughts and philosophies on how you balance the cost of services versus service levels? It, that wing is a very, you know, that is a really a hard one, you know. Um, I feel that we can balance that by working with our larger municipalities like Okotoks coming in, doing the garbage, uh, then the curbside recycling. Also working with the Foothills County, mm -hmm. you know, in, in some ways too. Right. So we, are, we have, uh, on the business side, we've achieved some of that with the, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, which includes uh, not only Turner Valley, Black Diamond, but Longview and Milleville and some of these others. So you see that as a sort of a model for better collaboration for other service provisions? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Because the more that we can work together is the more that we'll be able to be successful right. and achieve our goals. So what would you, do you have any particular areas that you'd uh, like to focus on? When you think of municipal government, there's uh, the committee structures that tend to focus additional time on, uh, on certain aspects, certain services. Do you have any particular desires in any of those areas? Or? Really not right now, Queen. So I'd like to get in there and learn um, a bit more of what the involvement is before saying, of, of particular areas. Right. 